A delegation of Polish industry experts, advisors and business executives under one roof. Economically, they have much in common with their South African hosts in that they too survived the recession largely unscathed. Very good financial systems. We are also more uh, in the, independent on the world financial sec uh, systems which in fact influenced most of the countries, even uh, developed countries. And uh, very, very, uh, very good policy, fiscal financial policy during this, this time. And also uh, we see now that uh, at the moment this crisis and the recession is already behind us. And believe we can, we can, we can develop even, even in a faster path. The economic figures say Poland was the only country within the 27 European Union nations to record positive growth of 1.7% in the dark days of 2009. Now it is looking further afield for investment. So we you are, you are really the, the very good positive example in our continent. Poland is, has emerged as a dynamic economy that has experienced rapid transformation from one particular economic structure into another kind of economic structure where some of the uh, features of that economy are very um, similar to what South Africa is aspiring to. So strong manufacturing base, a very strong entrepreneurial culture, a lot of the output is created by small and medium-sized enterprises, strong export performance. So a number of the objectives of South African economic policy are actually being experienced in Poland. As far as Poland is concerned, South Africa is the destination on the African continent. Trade between South Africa and Poland has increased steadily in the last five years. At current levels of around one billion US dollars, uh, traffic both ways, it's nearly 12 times more than 10 years ago. So it's growing. In terms of arrivals of um, Polish uh, uh, tourists in South Africa, it reached 12,000 two years ago. It was less than about 1,000. I'm talking real tourists, not family and friends, but real tourists, people that spend money. In we are strong uh, in uh, electromachinery and automotive sectors, in mining, energy. The same South Africa also has big experience on this field. So definitely we can find some synergies and cooperation in this area. They hope the Soccer World Cup has helped break down old world perceptions in both countries. The World Cup was an eye-opener for everyone. For me as a diplomat, you know, listening to and reading and following the rubbish stories in Polish media uh, a year before, when Poland came and played Bafana Bafana at Orlando Pirates in a, a stadium. Um, I tell you, um, uh, we had the most negative sort of contingent of press you could imagine from Poland. They were just complaining about everything. After the game, because they thought that venue was actually one of the World Cup venues, when I told them it was a practice venue, it blew their minds because Poland is going to organize the European Cup uh, in 2012. So they were so impressed. And from that moment on, we had change of attitudes and change of the media perception there for Polish people from total negative, like most of Europe, they were Afro-pessimists, to now the greater supporters of South Africa. And uh, you know, it's, it's wonderful to see how the stories have changed and the interviews and Nate, the questions that were asked a year ago and the questions that are asked now, they're totally different and that's encouraging. The Polish economy is a force to be reckoned with. It considers itself a fast-growing gateway to Europe. As Poland's real GDP growth is expected to accelerate to 3.4% in 2010, while the rest of the EU will grow at around 1.8% this year. It's a hungry country for capital investments, uh, being suppressed for 100, 150 years. Um, uh, from access to economic growth uh, because of communism. Now it's an open society and uh, the hunger is there. Um, it's the first generation that wants to make money um, and the second generation follows. The second reason is uh, because it's uh, still cheap labor 
but highly educated labor and therefore uh, is 20 to 30 percent cheaper right across the board in terms of manufactured goods. And thirdly, it is because it's part of the European Union and it's the fourth biggest uh, economy in Europe. And being now obviously seen as a growing market and a stepping stone to Asia, in particular all the old Russian republics, it is geographically located as a bridge for services and goods to Russia and Asia as, su as such. As world trade shifts from the west to the east, Poland wants to make sure it's in the front row, and this visit to South Africa was all part of this.